friendliness of the Thai people. Um, they call it the land of smiles for a reason. Everywhere you go, they could be super upset with you and they're still smiling. I really like that you can just walk up to them and have a conversation with them and you don't really feel like you're being an intrusion or that you're <laughs> annoying to them. They'll just sit and talk with you and they'll, they'll smile and they'll laugh and they'll tell jokes. And They love practicing their English or just talking to you in Thai knowing that you don't understand them. Sometimes we have class, sometimes we don't have class. We go to several different ministries, two different universities, one elementary middle school, one church. But we get up, we have a Thai class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so that's kind of a typical day. We go to Thai class for two hours. We go and eat a meal and then normally do a ministry in the afternoon. But it's not just school, it's, it's working for God, it's doing something for God, it's doing something bigger. Sometimes, like, honestly, you can feel the spiritual darkness in the city. Here, it's been really eye-opening to realize that there are so many people that, in their, in their community, they don't really have that chance to hear about the gospel because no one in their village or no one in their um, province knows about Christ. I know God has definitely really burdened my heart now that I realize that. And I've been here, and I've seen the faces of the people, and they're not just stories. It's very real and it's definitely brought in my world perspective to know that not everybody does have the opportunity to learn about God. And again, we live in such a great time and a great age that it shouldn't be like that. Like we have the resources and uh, we should be reaching out and reaching the people that don't know. 